Hello my friends and welcome to this new episode. Today I'm gonna show you this new asset that will be used for the backgrounds of the movie. This is the bridge of the Argos patrol ship. The idea here is to emulate the look of the typical background paintings from classical anime, recreating some of the techniques from manual work like on the good old days. So all of this starts with a correction for all of those horrible topologies I was doing at those times when I wasn't that good at modeling and texturing, compared to today at least. Today this is optimized for better use of polygons and textures, materials and all that. Shaders are not very sophisticated here, because uh, since almost everything needs to be painted on the texture, the lighting and shadows are all pre-calculated, pre-rendered. But if there's something that should be kept at the shader level is the specularity, because it is dependent on the angle of vision and for that reason cannot be integrated into the texture. So we are using a shader that is, like you can see in this case, very similar to those uh, we used on the characters. Mostly for taking the specular and to make it a little more painterly we used this noise texture. Because if you disconnect it, it looks too soft, like too digital. And obviously to complement the fact that all these lines, these grooves don't receive too much light, we incorporate a specular map for all those lines, bevels, and whatever. We did basically the same with the props, all those stuff that it's not part of the basic surfaces. Uh, some furniture, those boxes over there, where the technique is pretty similar. And of course, here in the case of the seats, where it is especially important because these are made to turn in every direction, and that makes much more evident the way the specular affects the surfaces on those seats. Now the textures, they are using a very basic painting, color layer, then we added a render to texture layer for the illumination and the ambient occlusion, Eventually I merged them and they, then I started to remove all this digital softness, making it more painterly by using some strokes here and there and giving it a certain granularity since a natural painting is not really perfectly even. There's also the influence of the surface in which it's painted, like for example paper, whatever, and obviously all those little details that need some extra care. Again, all those grooves and little lines that can be a little confusing because as you can see, the bridge has many lights. So we have to decide which side is receiving more light and painting more illumination there. There's also some shadows like here and also here. Some shadow from the seats over the platforms here. I also painted this kind of indication that the seats can slide forward and backward and there's the limit. Other materials are for example these uh, simple emission materials for the screens, which is blue for, for now. We will work on that later. The lights also a simple emission. And those panel lights also an emission that are using this texture, just the diffuse texture that in this little spot I have put all the colors needed for the different lights and obviously all these lights, these little LEDs or whatever are mapped onto those spots. So for example that's a red one and I just move it to the yellow spot or green or blue. So that's what we got Thus far, with this bridge, it is a very complex work. A lot of time working on it, but the difference is that this is an um, element that will appear many times on the movie, so it makes sense 
to put a lot of work into it for making very different camera angles and maybe even some in interesting camera movements uh, taking advantage of the 3D environment like uh, traveling or maybe some rotation around a character or even a dolly camera it might be interesting anyway things that we'll evaluate when producing the final footage so well that's it for now i hope you like it and we'll see you soon on a new episode with what i hope will be some interesting new development on our project take care and adios amigos